Hello everybody. In this tutorial, we are gonna discover how to make nice caustic effects in V-Ray for SketchUp. So let's get started. Uh, it is the thing, and uh, the next thing I will do is to revert to default settings and uh, delete my materials. Firstly, I will create a material called water pool. And assign apply the material to selection and I will change the diffuse color to totally black and reflection color to totally white and reflection IOIs 1.33 and the reflection color should be totally white and uh, the IOR should be 1.33 and the most important the effect shadows options should be off and in the maps rollout and in the displacement drop down menu I will enable the displacement and uh, I will assign the noise B textures to the displacement so I will change the size from 0.1 to 1.0 uh, I think it is a good start point and uh, I will change the loss ratio to 0.3 and the height ratio to 0.7 and uh, I will see what will happen. Do a quick render, and uh, let's see. You can hardly tell what happened here, mm, but I guess uh, there is some very teeny tiny nudge here. Uh, we can uh, we can hardly notice it. So I will stop the render right now. So, uh, I will tell you a uh, very nice tricks here. Uh, in in the noise B texture tab, uh, in the right side you can see an icon. Uh, I will click it. So it will basically expose the parameters of noise B texture size uh, to the native uh, materials editor. Uh, it means you can tweak the size of noise B textures here. Mm, it is by default 200, uh, uh, 500, uh, uh, 254. Sorry for my poor English. <laughs> and uh, I will hit render again, see what happened. So it is a magic. You can see uh, it is already uh, well deformed water. It is a good start point to produce uh, water pool caustics, I think. So I will stop the render and I will enable the caustic effects and hit render again. You can already see the caustic effects, but it is constrained to this area. That's because in the last step, in the sunlight, uh, you can see the caustic fountains uh, parameters here. The image radius is set to 50. That's why it is constrained to this small area. So I will stop the render and I will uh, set my image radius to 500. So our swimming pool is uh, full of nice caustics, but you can see, you can notice that the caustics is kind of blurry. That's not what we want. So I will stop the render. So the next thing we will do is to make it nice and sharp. Uh, so what I will do is to turn up the caustic subdivisions value from 1000 to 6000 and hit render again. So it will take longer time to generate a uh, caustic funnel map. Boom! So you can see it is really, really nice uh, caustic uh, we want. It's definitely what we want. 
So that's the end of the tutorial. And it's really, really short. Five minutes, we can produce uh, nice caustics. So uh, if you have any questions, just uh, leave a message in the comment. And I will answer it for you here. And see you next time. Bye-bye.